So On Borders is a series of dance workshops that try to use movements to help um, female immigrants to cope with the trauma that is immigration. I decided to create a space to expand the conversation about what it means to be a female immigrant, what do we need, what are the difficulties we're going through, how is gender an extra layer of discrimination as, uh, in, in the whole process of immigration. We based our movement from our writing, our stories, our voices, the different languages we speak. The collective choreography is built, inspired by individual movements that we have come up with during rehearsals. And what we do is not really dance in a traditional sense, uh, in the sense that it's not part of a particular vocabulary or repertoire or technique. It's really based on improvisation, and it's based on um, contact improvisation. It's, so it's really more movement than dance in a traditional sense. For example, we'll take one sentence that means a lot for us, and then with those sentences, we will create a movement. For example, in the last, um, in the last uh, opening rehearsal, we had this, this movement, this one. It was just to represent the fingertips that you have to put every time you pass the border. Two beautiful walls, uh, different weights. One is extremely heavy, made out of wood. The other one is very light, made out of foam. And we're playing with them. What's the burden of an actual wall? Symbolically, but also plastically, you know? And if we all carry the wall, then it's way less heavy. Most of the women, they are not dancers. And this is actually very interesting because when they propose a movement, it's very true. Like there is no um, teaching background or training behind this movement. I love to dance because of my cultural background, but I'm new to this um, dance that tells like a story, like with movements and stuff. I'm a fast-paced dancer, and um, so we we have to do these like really slow movements and like a moderate pace. But I, sometimes it's hard for me to like compete with it because I really like love to move to the beat. <laughs> I have a background in classical South Indian dance. This is a very different kind of dance. But you know, I mean, dance is language of the body. Dance is movement. So in that respect, it's been fantastic exploring a different kind of dance to tell a different kind of story. Movement, it is very, very powerful. And I'm also in a process where I kind of lose interest in the verbal communication. And I feel like no matter what this is saying, what this is saying is much more expressive and more honest in a way. Like you, you can't hide anything unless like you stand still. And that even says something, that you're hiding something. Most of the dancers, they're from all over the world. So to understand each other, it's, it's easier to dance together than maybe to speak. And uh, of course, like the movement, I think it's the universal language. These borders that we have created are also borders that we can flex. And that would be a big takeaway, I think, from the dance and from the project. It creates a new image of what we look like or what we sound like or we all often you know hear one one sort of narrative in the media and in the in the political discourse right now and it's always the one from the host country having an opinion about the other ones 
and I want to have this, those other, other ones that actually are in the host country and what are those stories, you know? So it's not just about a mass of people, it's also about individualities within the mass.